Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese chip and US ban. You may not know that China has actually developed lithography machines for 20 years. During this period, China encountered unimaginable difficulties, such as the siege and interception of the West. Whenever China's lithography machines made a breakthrough, the West began to sell them at lower prices. The high-grade lithography machine has led to a lack of orders even if China has produced a lithography machine, which makes it difficult for R&D companies to survive. The country has to support them, and it has supported them for a full 20 years. A few years ago, Huawei, ZTE, etc. were rubbed against the ground by the United States. Many people were worried about the plight of China's semiconductors. Some experts even jumped out and expressed pessimistically that China could not independently develop high-end lithography machines. China's high-end chip industry doomed to be locked down below 14 nanometers. The current strategy of the United States is to monopolize the production and research and development of high-end chips, including of course the research and development of high-end lithography machines. Therefore, it is constantly exporting restrictive measures to suppress the opponent's semiconductor industry, trying to prevent opponents from breaking through the production of chips of 14 nanometers and above, and corresponding production of lithography machines. In 2020, there have been rumors that the 28 nanometers lithography machine developed by Shanghai Microelectronics has been successful, but because the yield rate is not high, this news has not been announced publicly, because this set of equipment still needs to be improved and upgraded, otherwise it is difficult to be used for commercialization, which I mentioned in the previous content. In May 2021, an important engineer of Shanghai Microelectronics said in an interview with Japanese media, China's pillar product is the optical fiber used in the 90 nanometers process. For 28 nanometers and 14 nanometers chip production, there is still room for improvement in the yield rate of lithography machines. Note that the latter sentence of these two sentences has publicly implied that China has built a 28 nanometers lithography machine, but the yield rate is not high. High still needs to be improved. In fact, at the end of 2019, an important association in Jiangsu province announced the progress of domestic lithography machines, saying that 28 nanometers lithography machines will be integrated in 2020. What does that mean? That is to say, all the parts of the 28 nanometers lithography machine have been manufactured, and the next step is to wait for assembly and debugging. There are companies in this association participating in the research and development of parts, so they can know so clearly in advance. It can be clearly stated to everyone that the 28 nanometers lithography machine will be produced in China in 2020, but the yield rate is not high and has been improving. So I predicted in 2021 that the domestic lithography machine will break the game within two years, because at the time when the whole country paid attention to it, it would take at most two years to improve it. At that time, there was money, technology and national policy support, and more importantly yes, there is still strong pressure, so small changes won't bother them. So here comes the question, has the domestic 28 nanometers lithography machine improved the yield rate now? The answer is improved. Starting from January 2, 2023, Huawei employees began to break the news that 12 nanometers and 14 nanometers chips have been initially mass produced and a certain set of chips has been used internally. Why can it be determined that a domestic lithography machine is used? After Huawei was sanctioned by the United States, some sanctions were lifted. Although Huawei can now purchase high-end chips from the United States, Huawei still has not given up on self-developed chips and improved the yield rate. For Huawei, using the chip designed by itself as an experimental product, Huawei will take the lead in success. 
multi-party running will be better. In the future, chip manufacturers will definitely give priority to Huawei. For these chip manufacturers for lithography machine R&D companies, with Huawei joining, everyone can reduce the number of mistakes on many issues, and can also obtain the funds, technology, and talents brought by Huawei, so it is beneficial to each other. The most important thing is that many people broke the news on the internet and some of them mentioned that the domestic lithography machine was used this time, so this matter is a certainty. Don't underestimate the 28 nanometers lithography machine. It already belongs to the category of high-end lithography machines. With it, it can not only produce 14 nanometers and 12 nanometers chips, but also 7 nanometers chips. However, considering the process issues, the current 7 nanometers nanochip production may still be difficult, but I believe China will be able to produce 7 nanometers chips in a short time, and 28 nanometers lithography machines are a threshold for high end high tech. Once China has mastered it, it will develop more advanced lithography machine is much easier. This is also a process from quantitative change to qualitative change. China has built a 28 nanometers lithography machine and started to mass produce high end chips. Whether it is 14 nanometers or 12 nanometers, as well as 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers, it is a kind of high end chip, which means that China has entered the high end semiconductor research and development. And the field of production means breaking through the restrictions of opponents, which means that China's high-end semiconductors are no longer controlled by others. In the next most important field of artificial intelligence, China does not have to worry about chips getting stuck. The future is the era of intelligent manufacturing, and intelligent manufacturing is inseparable from the help of high-end lithography machines and chips. Although 28 nanometers lithography machines are the bottom of high-end lithography machines, there are infinite possibilities with them. Like a ticket, you can go to sea with it. Since then, China has no restrictions on moving towards high-end manufacturing, and it has more strength to develop into a superpower. The semiconductor industry will undergo major changes in the future. More than 74% of the global demand for chips is 28 nanometers or below, most of which are in the hands of China, so I said before that China has mastered the basic market and China can also produce chips above 28 nanometers. With mass production, the dream of the United States to monopolize high-end chips will be shattered, and the blockade strategy of the United States will also fail. China will come in to carve up the market. In the future, there is a high probability that the semiconductor industry will be dominated by China and the United States. Although the United States has adopted a variety of restrictive measures, even forcing TSMC and Samsung to go to the United States to help the United States establish a semiconductor industry chain, many allies of the United States do not follow the restrictive measures because they have already seen the situation clearly and China is the biggest buyer, the future demand will be huge, and there is a saying that goes well, if you leave the big market of China, you will not even think about securing your position as one of the world's top 500 companies. Moreover, China has already broken through high-end lithography machines, so it is better to cooperate and share the future. The consumption power of more than 300 million people in the United States is very strong now, but it will not be able to compare with the consumption power of the 1.4 billion Chinese in the future. Therefore, the United States has taken the initiative to withdraw from the Chinese semiconductor market today. In the future, their semiconductor companies will decline one by one. It will not be better than it is now and the life of Chinese semiconductor companies will get better and better. China has broken through the limitations of high-end lithography machines and mass-produced high-end chips, which means that China will never stop moving towards high-end manufacturing, and China will become a superpower just around the corner.